Hi, and welcome to my garage, another episode of building the gingery mill. In this episode we'll be looking at uh, doing some moulding and uh, casting of those moulds. And to start with, uh, I, did, I did start some, um, I did start some video taping of the, uh, the process of um, creating this uh, the headstock slide and um, but I was having trouble getting these um, clamp pads to uh, come out clean in the uh, uh, in the molding sand so I've, um, I've got a little bit of video I'll show soon of that but um, when I was having this problem I had to uh, remold the, uh, the uh, this this section of it three or four times before I've got it uh, um, pretty good, pretty good. There's still some uh, imperfections in it, but nothing that would um, stop me from casting it. The, the imperfections where um, it, it fell away are uh, in, in that area there, which is a 90, 90 degree um, corner, corresponding area on that side, and um, uh, a little bit, a little bit in here, but not much, very little. But the, the, I was able, to, like I said, I was able to get a, um, a fairly good um, mould out of, out of it. But unfortunately, because I was having trouble with it, I wasn't running the camera. And uh, my son and his mate came over to do some work, and I got distracted, and I ended up doing this, but I forgot all about the. Uh, um, videotaping process so I've got a, a little bit of this up front and um, I can't show you the uh, the moulding and the uh, the casting of, of uh, this and these two other parts the wheels the hand wheels but I've still got um, more to do so uh, uh, I'll try and remember to um, show the moulding and casting process uh, for that. Uh, so um, this is the, um, the cast of the, uh, the head stand uh, or the, for the spindle and um, one mistake I made was, um, hang on, was uh, I had to use a piece of uh, steel dowel as a core so when when this is molded in the sand it leaves the imprint of uh, that half half a dowel in the sand and then this this core has to sit in the mold and then the uh, aluminium uh, poured into the mold and um, you end up with a casting with this piece in the casting also. So this is what this is what comes out of the casting. What I omitted to do was to put a releasing agent on the steel core. Um, Gingery recommended in his book uh, for this part anyhow was a um, um, uh, to apply graphite uh, to this core. So um, anyhow, once the thing had cooled down, I couldn't get the core out. I was um, tried a number of things, mainly heavy hammer. For the life of me, it wouldn't come out. I um, I put a saw blade, just a light saw blade, down each side, thinking maybe it has gone past, and it has. It has gone past the centre line of the. Um, of the steel core, um, so I yeah, used a hacksaw blade, took a little bit out, still wouldn't come out. Um, I ended up doing some reading, and there's a the shrinkage rate between uh, for aluminium and steel is aluminium, I think, was um, uh, two percent shrinkage, and steel was 1.8 percent shrinkage. So 
I stuck this in the freezer for four hours, four and a half hours. Brought it out to the garage, very cold, and uh, still tried to get it out. Wouldn't come out at first, but with some um, some pretty good heavy handedness with a four pound hammer, I was able to um, punch the steel core out of the mould. So, um, yes, do not forget to put the releasing agent on the steel core, <laughs> otherwise you'll have a lot of trouble getting it out. If that core was fully encased, I would have um, just remelted it and started, started again, because um, from the experience I had with uh, the steel core in only half, half sunk, um, I'd hate to imagine what it would be like to try and get that steel core out of a uh, solid casting around the core. But anyhow, lesson learned. I've still got to make the other half of this. This is a bearing a bearing cap. The the spindle, this area will be um, bored out to accept uh, two bronze uh, bushes for the um, for the main spindle. So the other half, there is a second half to this square block here, which is the same block to create this part. We then create, recast this side of the uh, um, the template only, and as you can see, the wooden template will leave a um, uh, a dimple in the uh, uh, a recess in the sand for the steel core to sit in the uh, mould and the aluminium cord around the steel core which I hope to remember to graphite this time. So I'll end up with a um, uh, the other half of the bearing cap when I um, remould um, when I make up this half. Um, so uh, um, other castings I had a wooden template I made a um, Casting of the um, of one of the wheels off this uh, wooden template. I uh, did this a, uh, a week or two back. I don't think I have any. No, I haven't got any um, video of uh, machining this or um, casting it. Um, but these these two uh, templates, the wooden one and the uh, aluminium one, I created uh, two more. Two more castings. These came out uh, fairly good. Um, this one here is of the uh, aluminium uh, template, and uh, I have a bit of um, build up here. I knew I was going to get uh, get that, but that's going to be machined out. This whole face is going to be prettied up anyhow. This the sprue is going to be cleaned off. The outer edge is going to be cleaned. The um, the hub here has got to be cleaned up, but. Um, this is this and the other one which came off the wooden template. Both have got to be uh, cleaned up and um, put into service. I have to make, I'm going to make some handles to, um, uh, to be fitted onto these. But uh, they came out uh, very nice, uh, a little bit of work around, around the parting line. That's, um, I expect that a little bit of work here to clean this up. I, ex I expected that. Well, I, I knew I was going to get that. The, um, the mould had slightly caved in on that on those areas, and the same in here. But um, there's plenty of good metal to um, clean up uh, on the lathe. This this uh, template is the. Um, the screw support which gets mounted to the headstand um, underneath it like so and then two, two counter screws through the top to uh, support the, um, uh, the lead screw for adjusting the um, uh, uh, headstand or spindle headstand. So, 
that piece still has to be made. That's a one. That's a one piece uh, pattern. Uh, another. No. Go to this one. This is the, uh, the support boss that goes on the um, the right hand or the end um, uh, bed support. Uh, two bolts through here into the uh, the bed support, and then a, uh, a hole drilled th drilled through here and uh, bronze uh, bronze pushing fitted for the. Um, for the crank, crank end, uh, the, the uh, for the crank. This has to be machined on the uh, on the lathe using the, the face plate, the face plate that I had made. So um, there's two bolt holes to go through here, so they will they will be used to hold um, this boss in position. To machine the back off, to machine this off, to machine the boss, because that boss there has to be the same size as the boss on the handle. So a little bit to come off, not too much. So that's still got to be cast. This this piece is similar to this one. So this one is the um, uh, the work table support uh, bracket for the lead <coughs> lead screw for the work table. It's a 90 degree. It has uh, some taper uh, on on this one. So um, actually, I must check that. Of course, that's got to go in. That way, so I've got the taper on the wrong part. I'll have, to, I'll have to check that. So that will be down first, moulding sand over the top of that, flip the drag over, then this this part, this boss, then gets fitted. The cape box fitted, sand packed in, and then you yeah, split the mould, pull the uh, components out, that's why I think there has to be some draft on this one also, I think I put the, um, I definitely got draft on this one, I might have to remake this, because it's the wrong way around, either that or um, re-drill it. I'll have to look at the uh, the book again, see what I've done wrong. I think I've think I've drilled this on the wrong side, but we'll correct that before we mould it. So actually, that's um, that's all for now. I'll um, I'll go and check on this, re um, remake that, or uh, make it work either way, and um, I, I'll be back. When I uh, start to um, to mould these um, components, that are still to do. Catch you later.